Let us all now pray in response to God's word uh, and also as we pray for others that press upon our hearts and also uh, a prayer for ourselves. Let us, let us pray. Dear God and Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your call to intentionally take time to listen to you and to speak with you in prayer. Lord, we confess how we can easily neglect our devotion to you and see how we are too often distracted. So we thank you for this time of worship to reflect and to commune with you. Help us to draw from this time of worship your expectations from us and your strength to obey. We pray, uh, Lord, for those who are in recovery from treatment and that they sense your comfort and peace in their affliction. We pray for those who have lost loved ones and how they cannot grieve in the normal ways due to the restrictions. Help ease their loneliness. May they seek you prayerfully. May they know your still voice of peace and comfort. May they know your love through us as a church community that reaches out and considers their troubles. Lord, we pray for our NHS staff on the front line. We ask that they will increasingly see how you work in and through the system of care and give initiatives for treatment. We thank you for the vaccine and the ways that it offers protection. Continue to give the health minister, Robin Swan, wisdom and strength as he oversees the needs of Northern Ireland. We thank you for Robin Swan for his gracious attitude which he exhibits. And we ask that he will know your peace and continuing guidance. We pray for those who have been diagnosed with the coronavirus and other sicknesses. We ask that in their situation, they will listen to your guidance and rest in your peace and comfort. We pray for Lily Orr, the manager of Fairhaven Home, as she grieves over the loss of her husband, Tommy. Lord, may Lily know your comfort and peace, Lord. May she know your comfort of the prayers for her, and may she draw from your strength and increasingly recognise how you are over and above our sufferings and offer us hope. We pray for our district superintendent, the Reverend Philip Agnew, who has injured himself in an accident. We ask that he has a speedy recovery, and in that journey of healing, that he will know your continued wisdom as he oversees the needs of our district. There are so many Lord's circumstances. And in our afflictions, we ask you to change us in the ways that you want to. Help us to submit to you in them uh, and stop trying to work things out in our own strength. And just before we close this prayer time, we come to you in a short moment of silence to pray for those that press upon our hearts. A short moment of silence. And we ask you all these things in Jesus' name, our Saviour, Counselor and Lord. Amen. And now our closing hymn. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed thy hand hath provided. Sing in the faith number 50.